amazing that components of the universe we know today is a whole lot different from the universe our ancestors believed in. For the past centuries, numerous theories gave birth, disproving and replacing the previous ones. For instance, we used to believe that the Earth is flat, then it was round, but really, Earth is an all-blade spheroid. Gravity was discovered, other planets were discovered, even the possibility of life on planets other than Earth was explored. But before divulging into these topics, let's first go back in the time about 500 years ago to be specific. It wasn't accepted by the public because of their religious beliefs that them that the earth was created before anything else. Can you imagine that how it must have been frightening to them that the things they believe in, their whole lives just might be wrong? Accepting the fact that man is not the center of all things surely is a hard pill to swallow. They were outraged, of course. His proposed theory must be a load of bollocks, right? Many called Copernicus a heretic and even went as far as executing him because they could not simply accept teachings, although time passed by and people have come to their senses. After lots of experiments, astronomers realized that the heliocentric model was actually true. It answered issues that the geocentric model could not explain, like the once vague and complex idea of the planet's orbit was now simplified and brought to life. Other works that supported Copernicus' model sprang eventually. People began accepting his model, which paved the way to the birth of modern astronomy. Countless of discoveries had a major impact on why the civilization today see things differently from our ancestors. It changed our views and beliefs and challenged us to question what we know, try to know what we don't. One proof is how the heliocentric model proved that we are not the center of the universe. Everything does not revolve around us. The perspective that man's dominance in a dominant world was no longer tenable, promoting a more humanistic view of the world. The birth of this model eventually inspired other people to keep searching for answers, to keep questioning those answers, and never stop learning until they have arrived at the universe that we have to be. There were many theories and beliefs before and even till today, and as we grow and engage, these grow and change into more and more varieties and more advances. Sixteenth century Claudius Ptolemy and the rest of the world believed in geocentric theory. Geo, which means earth, and centric, which means center, forms geocentric, which means earth is the center of the universe. Nicholas Copernicus introduced heliocentric theory. Helios, or helio, which means sun, and centric, which means center, forms heliocentric, which means sun is at the center of the universe. Copernicus' theory defied religious beliefs. Copernicus was executed due to it. After a few years, heliocentric was proven because it could explain what geocentric cannot. Birth of modern astronomy began when heliocentric model was accepted. Men were humbled upon realizing that they are not the center of everything. The impacts of heliocentric model were more humanistic views and people kept searching for knowledge. <laughs> 